But what is up guys, Patterson here on today's FIFA 17 video. So I'm back with another video the other day and this is going to be a daily knockout tournament. As you can see on screen we have got my team here today and the defence is really solid where maybe the attacking lacks a little bit. So as you can see the team here yeah, it's kind of the leftovers of last weekend's for champions. I am going to sell all these players apart from Kyle Walker probably in the next few days before the next rewards come out to see how much coins we can get for a better team. So what I decided to do today is just play a few games on for champions. Just the daily knockout tournament, it's for a premium gold pack so nothing special. I was probably more inclined to play online divisions as it gives you 15k. I'd rather 15k than a pack any time because the packs are so bad if there's not a team this season card in them where they give you that boost. So a team this season is over now and I'm pretty much, it wasn't for me an NBA team this season wasn't something I like doing. I think it is when it's hyped enough where people are interested in it. But it got to the point where people just didn't really care. If EA don't care about it, why should us, the viewers, or the players who play the game care about it? So, I do have a little bit of an announcement. We are going to be getting that Ultimate Team of the Season pack again. So we'll get two, I think it's two. It's either two or three Team of the Seasons from the Ultimate Team of the Season again. So that'll be good for the rewards on Thursday, so you can expect that. And I did actually buy Ebra last weekend, and oh, this is daily not out, but I bought him, and then I sold him again, now. then I bought him again, then I sold him again, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing with my team. So if you've got any ideas at all, let me know in the comments down below, and let's talk about this daily knockout, was it hard, was it easy? I've played in easier daily knockout tournaments than this one, to be honest. And I've been playing the draft a little bit as well recently. I just don't like the gameplay in the draft. I think it's such strange gameplay compared to Foot Champions. I think Foot Champions is probably the best gameplay. Online Division 1 is, is not a challenge for me, so it's hard for me to actually get a, a competitive game throughout the week until I come to Foot Champions. I think that's the reason why I haven't really hit top 100, as I never play against people that are good enough. To either challenge me in the game or challenge me in any instance where my team wins most of the games where normally if you play up against a good enough player it's a player versus player. But I haven't came up against any good opponents in these daily night out tournaments for a while. I think I came up against one but he was kind of one that is, you could brush off after a little bit. So. This game was kind of weird against this guy, he had a loan card and stuff like that. But he didn't really do much apart from he got a couple of goals, which this team should not be conceding goals at all. With players like Chiellini and Kouabali as your centre-backs, two of the probably the best centre-backs in the game, you should not be conceding goals. Which I am conceding about two or three goals a game, which isn't good at all. So I can't put that down to me, it's either me being that bad or the defence just isn't working. Which, it's four team of the season defenders and this can't defend. I always thought it was Chiellini's partner that was doing the kind of mistakes. But when you look closely at the gameplay and when your opponent scores against me, it's normally the lapse of concentration by Chiellini which gets my opponent the goal. As you've seen before with the corner, he just let him slip and Koulibaly try to come across where he just couldn't get there in time. I don't think his team this season, Koulibaly, is up to scratch to be honest. But I do like his uh, 87 I think it is, and he's only 40k. Or 87 in form with them stats, it's unbelievable how good he is for the price. And this Merton's called actually the... He's one of my favourite players I've ever used in this game for when you get used to his kind of his player style you'll get really in tune with what he's like. In my opinion he's probably one of the best 
centre forward in the game. I wouldn't say he's a striker, I wouldn't say he's a calm. I would say he's in the middle of the strike and calm, obviously centre forward. That's why I said that, but he is very solid. I think he got 38 goals in 44 games with like 25 assists or something like that. I don't know if I got me stats of Mertens in this game or not, I can't remember. But he is a solid card. He is probably one of my favourite cards I've used in Soul, to be honest. But he just doesn't... He's not going to fit the team the way I want it to go in the future. I might buy him back at some point, but at the minute we're going to try and get a stronger defence as it worked better with Chiellini than Perrin, than Chiellini with anyone else. So I did sell Chiellini as well, just because of the ultimate team the season pack. So I'm going to wait until my rewards actually drop and footies actually drop to see where I'm going with my team. The team the season players might go up in price at that time, but if they do, they do, there's nothing you can do about it. I was thinking about buying 99 Ronaldo, we're going to have to wait until we see what we're getting with Team the Season Pack and that's probably one of the last, this was probably the last week where 90% of the FIFA base is probably going to take the game seriously. So you'll probably see a lot more teams with Jorgensen and Al Sommer and all these overpowered Team the Season players that are not very good compared to the other team of season players, the Messi's, the Ronaldo's, the Cantes. So you can expect that in Foot Champions, it's probably going to be a lot easier for new players to get involved with Foot Champions coming up soon because a lot of the better players, I don't think there's any tournaments left apart from FIWC, which you can't qualify in more so most of the people playing in the higher level are probably not going to play it much anymore. Unless they're qualified, then they're just going to practice on the game. So there is a few loopholes where you can either get yourself into foot champions now, or you can get yourself in some way. I think it's going to be the easiest it's been since the start of the game to get yourself that qualification. And I think it's definitely worth getting qualified for foot champions just once in FIFA 17. If you haven't before, just so you know what it's like for FIFA 18. And you can try and brush up on your skills to next FIFA. But, to be honest, I'm just waiting for the next FIFA right now. I'm not really... Since they released all the news for FIFA 18 pretty much too early, I think they're going to overhype and kill the game off before we even start. So, that is FIFA's fault. And the servers this weekend league were absolutely terrible compared to any of our played. It's definitely the early on you play it, I think it was Friday I played. So I don't think you can play on Thursday in the UK, I think you've got to play Friday. Since there's a gap between America and the UK or something like that, I can't remember what it is. But the, I'll talk about it more in my Foot Champions Arise video, which will probably come out the next day when this does come out. So you can look forward to that. And I am keep doing the Foot Champions Arise, but I'm going to try and change my teams up a little bit. I want to have just one amazing team and then that's it for the rest of the year. So it depends what we're getting the team of the season pack like I said before, before I make any decisions. Because I could get team of the season Messi, which means I could get team of the season Ronaldo as well. And then have a sick duo. So I've seen a lot of people complaining about these kind of rewards. Since they're not going to put an ultimate team of the season card in these actual daily knockout tournaments, this is what I got. This was four matches, by the way. Four matches, which were pretty much bad and a waste of my time. That's nearly an hour of playing FIFA. Get your free little gold cards, which is terrible and shouldn't be allowed. The reward system throughout the week and all of our stuff definitely needs to be reworked. We get a 5k shadow. I've been Patterson. Thank you for watching. Leave a like rating on this video, I will see you next time, goodbye.